guys are going to be making videos every day. I got so many stories to tell and so many video ideas. At least 300 video ideas. Anyway, so today's story is going to be about my interview with Cox Media Group. Alright, so this is going to be another story in the series of trying to make it in the media. So I'm going to be redoing recordings about all my interview experiences um, and how the interview was with these particular companies and of course all the different jobs that I applied for and how do I try to prep and prepare myself for those jobs. Because if you're a person like me and maybe you went to school for media and you're probably having a hard time getting into it, you should definitely check out my videos. Of course, I love to rant about R L N A B J too. So, quick video. This is going to be a short story, but I couldn't find any stories online um, about the experience that people have when they interview with Cox Media. So I'm like, let me do a video because this could help somebody since they ain't want to help me. Anyway, so, so I interviewed with Cox Media Group. Um, I'm gonna say like about, about a week a week and a half ago. It was when I had this hair. So, oh, my fact, it was the day I recorded the video about Fox. That was the day I just came back from Cox Media because I was all hyped like, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. All right, so I interviewed with Cox Media. The process probably say took about two and a half, three weeks. So they had the job online. They used a recruiter. The recruiter actually called me the first week of January, January 3rd or 4th, when I was up in Albany. So he called me, he talked to me on the phone. I'm like thinking to myself, oh, I didn't know that Cox Media Group used recruiters. So you would never hear nobody from the actual place. You will hear from a recruiter. But first I got the email from him saying that he was interested in my resume, he liked my resume, and it looks like everything in qualification. Now the position I applied for was promotions assistant. You guys know what that is. Basically your street teams, the people who go out and set up and promote, and if it's a concert or something like that, they get on the mic and they talk. So that's the position I applied for. You know you gotta fake it till you make it, cause I'm trying to start from the bottom and make it to the top. And if it's one industry, I think that I can do that in is definitely Cox Media and talking on the phone with this guy definitely reassured me of that because when I talked to him he was like I really like your experience your resume he was just like really just talking to me like he was a friend asked me about my experiences in life and about my resumes and I basically went in detail and he was like you know what I got you I'm gonna fight for you I'm gonna see if I can get you an interview tell them everything that you've told me here today and see enough see if I can get you an interview with them I'm like cool baby I didn't say that to him though but you know I was thinking in my head so then the lady called me on the phone and she just called me like hi Deprina we got your uh, resume and you know we talked to our crew we want to bring you in for an interview I'm like cool he he did what he said he was gonna do he wasn't even playing so she called me she just was like we want to set an interview with her it's gonna be Friday at 2 o'clock I'm like cool beans so, you know, I got myself ready, got cute, you know, got my hair done, you know, I was like, I'm about to get this. So, I go in there, and I was on time, of course, I always say, if you're on time, you're late, and if you're early, then you're on time. So, my interview started at about 2.10, 2.15-ish, and I actually interviewed with three people. Now, it was one guy and two women that I interviewed, and they both had... Two of them said they had been there for like 16, 17 years. And then the third girl, she looked like she was a little bit younger. And she said she had only been there for eight years. Okay. So once I got there, I interviewed with them. And it basically, it didn't even feel like an interview. They had a full-on conversation with me about life, jobs, working in the media, working in the industry, social media, and the whole time I didn't realize to after the fact that they were interviewing me, asking me like slide in questions like how do you handle this situation, that situation, and media, and I told them about all the gossip. I even told them I was going to make a YouTube video about this. So, after all of this, I mean, 
It's 45 minutes go by, y'all. I didn't talk to these people like I was having a family reunion with my cousin. I'm like, this is the best interview I've ever had in my life. So, had the interview. I'm walking out of there pumped. And they like, like literally all the answers I was giving up, they was like, oh, I like her answers. And I never heard nobody say that in the interview. So I'm pretty, pretty confident in that. So they told me they would be contacting um, whoever they hire towards the end of the month, like February, because they're usually very, very busy from spring all the way into Christmas. So I'm like, cool. But they also was telling me, yes, it is a promotions assistance job, but working at Cox Media, they do everything they can to try to make sure that you move away from the position. Nobody is a promotions assistant for like forever, for their whole career. You know, people do a promotion assistant and they move on. You have free range to um, walk in and say hi to the, the radio show hosts or walk in and speak to people and ask them about their jobs. And, you know, that's my plan. And so I felt very confident in that interview. And it was like, yeah, Cox Media would really try to help people to move up in this business. Once you in, no matter where you at, you could only go up from there. So I was really, really glad to hear that. And so I'm like, okay, I'm about that life. So I left out of there pumped. And right now, I'm just hoping that I hear from them. It's only been a week because, yeah, it's only been about a week now. Um, but my review of interviewing with Cox Media Group so far is about a four out of four. No, five out of five. That was my quick story about the time that I interviewed for Cox Media Group. Let's cross our fingers. Did I get that job? Any other days, any other words, I'm out, y'all. Until next time, I'm out. I'm out. I love you. Don't forget, you can follow me on all social media. The links are in the info box. And thank you for watching.